A high-stakes meeting between the world's first and second largest economies is underway. Officials from the U.S. and China are trying to work through a number of economic issues where the two countries disagree. Eunice Yoon reports tonight from Shanghai. U.S. Treasury Secretary Jack Lew is in Beijing for the Strategic and Economic Dialogue. His main concern is China's excess capacity and what he describes as its potentially corrosive impact on the country's growth as well as the global markets. China has excess capacity in several industries, including steel. It's become a major trade issue with many of Beijing's partners, including the U.S. They believe China is dumping products in the world markets, distorting prices and hurting their own industries. In response, Chinese officials like Finance Minister Lo Jiwei said the issue of overcapacity is being hyped up. He said that China is pressing ahead to make production cuts. Also, Jack Liu's Chinese counterpart, Wang Yang, pointed his finger at the U.S., saying that Fed policy is also creating uncertainties in the emerging markets. The United States and China account for a third. On the other the hand, Liu has been downplaying what has become a standard complaint of Washington, the value of the renminbi. Ahead of the meeting at a university, the U.S. Treasury Secretary said the U.S. wouldn't be critical of Beijing if it allowed the yuan to fluctuate. On the security front, the U.S. is also urging China to cooperate with the White House's efforts to cut off North Korea from the global financial system to pressure it on its nuclear program. China is a primary trading partner with North Korea, and its cooperation is seen as critical for these efforts. Secretary of State John Kerry, who's also in China for this visit, said that the two sides have made progress on this issue. The high-level discussions continue into Tuesday. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eunice Yoon in Shanghai.